again. Is the other thing uh, agencies can learn from South by is how to be useful. The really useful thing, the obvious thing, is to turn up and be part of a panel. Tons of agencies were on panels. I think we were on a couple, but were not hugely representative. I think JWT were on more panels than any other agency, so they did, you know, speaking gigs. Uh, a bunch of agencies turned up and sort of threw parties or put on a barbecue, and they were sniffing around and recruiting and stuff like that. Uh, you know, I wasn't interested in taking a job with any of those guys. <laughs> um, Samsung, I think, worked with Jess 3 or another agency and did uh, real-time data displays throughout the whole five venues. What's on next? Where is it? How do you get there? Who's checked in? Where are your friends? Who's tweeting from there? All that sort of stuff, which was very informative. Hand on heart, Ogilvy won. Not, not the company or the division, Ogilvy, W-O-N. We were the most useful. Uh, Ogilvy New York hired a company called Image Think that do these visual facilitations. Did anybody get up to see the gallery that we popped up the other week with all those things on the wall? Yeah, so it's just these were done in one take, live notations of all the major panels and presentations. They took photos of all of them. They were, some of them were done huge. You can see there she's doing it, you know, almost billboard style. Some were doing panels. I think there was one guy doing it on a, a live on an iPad. There were a team of six of them. They would take all the images, take them to a printer in Austin that they had contracted, and would digitally print overnight massive stacks. And they were available free the next morning for everybody to come and take. And they got fucking mauled within the first hour, all the printouts were gone and everybody was raving about what a useful thing Ogilvy were doing. Um, so I think they really they really aced it. It was useful, it was analogue, so it was counter. I mean there's there's some of the there's some of the the visual facilitations. And I've got links to all this stuff so you can download this stuff and check it out. JWT, weird. They hired a van to bring in the barbecue that you saw earlier from this famous place called Salt Lake and give it out to people free. Like fucking more free food. That's just it's really what you need in Austin this week. And there was this guy, you can't see it here, but he's got a helmet on with a camera in it and a, a backpack, and he's projecting onto walls. It's a really weird short film about cows chopping themselves up and putting their bits on the barbecue. And <laughs> JWT or WTF? <laughs> so I think they really missed a treat. They put a fucking ton of money into that. Clearly there were a lot of meetings behind this. And somebody said, that is a great idea. We will go to uh, Austin, home of barbecue, and we will align ourselves to barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> great fucking idea, make that happen. I'll tell you who I thought really misstepped. Anybody heard of an agency called RGA? Digital agency. This, and Chris Ford, I interviewed him before we went, he said, oh, RGA is the most interesting because they are one of the big agencies emerged in the last nine to ten years, so they were kind of able to uh, build themselves afresh. Is anybody here like Madman? Men? Yeah. I do, because it's hilarious. It's like a documentary. You look at the way that agency is structured, and it says, this is really familiar. I recognise these structures. When is it set? 60s? What are we in now? Yeah, like 2000s? Or two, yeah, the 80s? Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking board shorts that the kids are wearing these days. We're in the 80s. And with the hair? I'll oh, stop that. And we've got modern music. Is that rubbish or what? <laughs> <laughs> so we've got like 50 years and the org structure is the same. Can you name another industry where the org structure is the same as the 60s? Retail, banking, finance. Funeral parlours. Funeral parlours. <laughs> You've been watching Six Feet Under. <laughs> Almost nobody, we are. Except RGA. The trouble is they missed it and they did this online game called Social Media Hell. And it was a mobile game and everybody signed up and basically you go through seven stages to get the seventh circle of hell. And everybody signed up and said, <coughs> to get to the first level you have to tweet something with this in it. And what everybody worked out really quickly is this game is making fun of the people who are coming to South by Southwest. <laughs> It was a social equivalent of turning up to your friend's party and laughing out loud at what everybody's wearing in a money room. Nobody will talk to you. So I saw everybody sign up and I saw everybody play level one. I didn't see a single person play level two. Advertising being what it is, I'm sure RGA have already constructed their brilliant case study video about what a smashing success. Mm -hmm.